let's give the veteran city fresher and the beginner some do's and don'ts. It's five hours until the remake releases. Everybody's hyped, me included. So let's get into this. Let's not dawdle. Rule number one of Fight Club. Double tap everything. That's all I'm saying on this because I don't want to spoil the first experience of beginners too much. However, keep this in mind. If you did not see it die, it's not dead. And even if you saw it die, double tap it to make sure. Tip number two, check your dimensions extremely well because Dead Space is cheeky with hiding items in plain sight. If you simply rush through the game and don't backtrack, you're gonna be missing out on a whole lot of items and goodies that you do not wanna miss. You may get away with it on the easier modes, but the higher difficulties are gonna kick your butt and have you rummaging through toilets for items. Tip number three, use your stasis effectively. I remember when I first started the game, my stasis meter was always full. Don't be like me, be smart, don't be greedy with it, don't be overzealous, but also don't be stingy. It's a resource, use it. When you meet a brute, use it. When you're getting pressed by four necromorphs, use it. Another tip is, the line gun second firing mode is especially powerful in combination with stasis. It will save you a ton of ammo. Tip number four, and this is a pro tip, sell ammo. I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Many people think, oh, I'm gonna hoard my ammo, then they do nothing with it and it sits in their storage for the rest of the game. Sell it. Especially on the lower difficulties, you're not gonna use all of it. So just sell it and use it to buy power nodes to upgrade your equipment. Contact Beam Ammo used to sell for a whole lot. I'm not sure if they've changed it. I didn't get the game early. So watch out for that. But look for ammo that you can sell for a lot that you don't really use. It's gonna help you out in the long run. Tip number five, keep your eyes out for the Pang Trophy. It's an Easter egg they placed in all three games of the original franchise. And I think it sells for something like 50,000 credits. And it used to be in the first area of the game in Death Space 1, but I imagine they moved it since you couldn't actually reach the place until you returned there in the later chapter. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled and find it because it's gonna give you a lot of credits. And here's the silly six bonus tip. I think they've changed this, but I'm not sure. In the original, there was a power note door in chapter seven that you did not need to open because you could rock the place clean using telekinesis. Could have been changed, could have not been changed. Again, keep your eye out. That was it. I wanted to keep this video extremely short since no one has time to watch a 10 minute tips and tricks video. I wish all the fans the best of luck. Hopefully you get scared out of your wits and accidentally break your screen because of how scary and atmospheric the game is. Have a fun time slashing some limbs brothers and I'll catch you in my next content. Oh, by the way, you can watch my Death Space 1 weapon tier list as well.